I'm Pam, I'm 60 years old, and I love to hike. This week is the first hike of the 52 Hike Challenge. For my first hike of 2023, I went to the top of Tumamoc Hill in Tucson, Arizona. I decided to start the challenge with an urban hike because seriously, most people just don't have access to a bunch of wilderness outside their door. And as you get older, it's sometimes hard to drive for an hour just to get to that perfect hiking spot. Tumamoc Hill is less than three miles from downtown Tucson. With an elevation gain of about 800 feet and just a mile and a half to the top, it can be an intense cardio workout, depending on your speed. With that said, it's a perfect round trip hike for just about anyone, regardless of your age or fitness level. The trail crawls with children, people of all shapes and colors, and hardcore runners in training. You name it, you'll find it on this trail. Tumamak is a Tohono O'odham word for the regal horned lizard, also known as the horny toad. Tumamak Hill was home to the ancient Hohokam people. The mesa at the top of the hill was the site of a Hohokam village about 3,000 years ago. These people lived in small, round pit houses and built massive rock walls called trincheras around the edges of the entire hill. You can find hundreds of petroglyphs and even a prehistoric garden if you know where to look. The trail starts on Anklam Road west of downtown and directly across from St. Mary's Hospital. St. Mary's was opened 150 years ago and it's the oldest hospital in Arizona. When I arrived, parked cars lined Anklam Road as far as I could see. You begin with a small detour around an old house with a beautiful facade called the Luminous Mother Shrine. This house was owned by a woman who died of cancer in 1999. Knowing that she was dying, she commissioned an artist to build the mosaic and called it the Luminous Mother. The shrine and altar are now part of local culture and are loaded down with so many objects of all kinds that you could spend days just looking through it all. The trail starts out relatively flat and is a very easy walk for the first mile or so. It includes roughly six switchbacks and gradually gets steeper the further you go. Considering that it's right next to downtown, the desert scenery is amazing. Tumamak Hill was established as a U.S. National Historic Landmark by the Carnegie Institution in 1903. Now it's an 860-acre ecological reserve owned by the University of Arizona and used as a desert laboratory. The house with the shrine is also a part of this laboratory. They study the effect of invasive species such as buffalo grass on native plants like the saguaro cactus. Because of its location, Tumamak Hill is also home to a bunch of radio towers and public safety transmitters. Partway up the hill, you encounter another cluster of buildings. These were built in 1906 as the Carnegie Botanical Desert Laboratory, and they are still used as laboratory buildings today. Just as important, however, is the presence of two porta potties. Hey, look, ladies, if you're not comfortable squatting behind a bush, it's not a bad plan to have your potty stops mapped out before you start, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. It's also very safe for an older woman hiking alone because so many people are on the trail all the time. And the sun finally came out as we got to the halfway point up the hill. Got that rainbow, oh my goodness. What a gorgeous day. Downtown Tucson has the most beautiful lighting from here. The second half of the trail is a lot steeper, and this is where the cardio workout really comes in if you keep your pace up. Look at that view behind me. 
we're getting close to the top. Almost there. Just another couple of turns. Cardio is a great way to get your heart rate going and get that metabolism rate up. My metabolism has never been particularly high, but for me, just going on these wonderful long walks and hikes have never been enough to keep my weight down. I'm one of those people who do the roller coaster weight loss thing. Down 20 pounds, 20 pounds. Down 30 pounds, up 40 pounds. I've bounced between 135 pounds and 175 pounds for much of my adult life. When I broke my foot two years ago, I weighed 176 pounds. I knew right away that my weight, along with my inherent lack of coordination, contributed to the severity of my injury. And I get so irritated with people who tell me, well, why don't you just lose the weight then? I mean, if weight loss was easy, it wouldn't be a billion dollar industry, would it? Some of us have to struggle for every pound we lose. For me, there are only two things that have ever really worked for any length of time, and I have to do both of them. The first one is honesty. If I don't pay attention to what I'm eating and remember what I'm eating, then I don't know why I'm gaining the weight. The second thing I need is motivation. I've discovered some sites online where you can place a bet against yourself. You bet $35 that you will lose 4% of your body weight in four weeks, or $100 for a 10% of your body weight in six months, or you maintain your current body weight for three months. This bet goes into a big pool with a lot of others doing the same thing, and you have to weigh yourself regularly to make sure you're on track. If you don't lose the weight, you lose your money, and it goes to one of those other determined souls who actually accomplished it. I've never been a gambler because it's all about chance, but this kind of gambling is different. I'm gambling on myself, and it has been my magic pill. And it's a lot easier for me to go on a hike when I'm not so heavy. I breathe easier, even when I'm breathing hard. Tumamak Hill competes with Sabino Canyon as the most popular trail in Tucson. The trailhead is a short drive from both downtown and the University of Arizona. It's also close to some of the best Mexican food that Tucson has to offer. If you've never had a chili relleno burro from St. Mary's Mexican food, you haven't truly lived. What a great way to end a hike. Okay, you're good.